a, a couple of comments. Uh, one, I would hope to amend the motion to ask Bill to look at the column placement, if it can be within a reasonable cost uh, adjusted to provide more maneuverability of the building. And two, to take that little notch out of the western uh, courtyard that doesn't appear to be particularly helpful and may even cause a problem with where you can uh, retract the sliding gate. Uh, those two things. But uh, I was thinking, you know, thinking about this, apparently this whole process occurred some years ago and then was just dropped. Uh, when I asked Joe Ronco, who's also a former board member, to help us with some siting plans that we used for that session on, on where we might put the building, uh, I said, we're looking at redoing the maintenance shit. He said, oh, are you going to get a different color tarp? <laughs> uh, we're, we're beyond tarping that building. Last year, apparently, Shane went right through the roof. We can't even put people up there to re it, safely at least. Uh, we need to move ahead. Uh, if there's such a huge outcry for this building that I don't think is too big. In fact, the staff, when we, I met with the staff and uh, Eric, and I, I guess Bill was there too when he first came on board, and they wanted something a lot more than this. They had all these ideas and they had sketches. And it was a pretty inefficient layout and larger. So Bill worked hard at coming up with an idea that allowed the building to be pared down while still accommodating under a roof all of our motorized equipment. Uh, an alternative to this is tear the shed down leave the outside storage area here and this area that's used and put four metal shipping containers on the slab. Look at all the money you'd save. No. That's but that you know half of you are saying it's too big, others are saying are that it's too big, but then they want things done that would make it larger. Uh, I you know I think based on the site constraints and suggesting to move to option area three, which would wipe out the horseshoe pits and that move hexagon it gadget, uh, is, is a bad idea. Uh, you, Stephen said that it was farther away from the creek. Well, it's farther away from Miller Creek, but it's closer to the uh, ephemeral stream that comes off of Miller Creek Road. If you move so, it next to the uh, storage shed, again, you don't have that order, issue. In any event, I, I think we need to move ahead with this project on to the, the next step. But I would hope that we could have some guidance to the architect to make those couple of adjustments if they are financially feasible. Once it gets into the detailed structural engineering.